Hey there, wrestling fanatics. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well for myself. Anywho, this news broke yesterday, I'm assuming, okay? What I'm talking about is right back, okay? But before I go into more detail on the matter, he was part of the original Nexus, okay? His name at the time was Skip Shutfield. You know, I know it's not the best uh, wrestling name, but take it or leave it, you know? And um, he did okay in that group. Then down the road, he got injured. They took him off TV. You know, he, he had to do rehab, blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, he had a new gimmick, new name, and the rest is history. So when the right back debuted, I think it was Payback, I forgot what year. I think it was in Chicago. My brother and myself attended the event and I said to myself, who the hell is this guy? And I think we, we finally figured out it was Scott Sheffield back in the day of the Nexus. Really, the repackages dude. So he dominated everyone on the main roster, sort of. And he faced on that pay view, freaking jobbers. I pay my hard-earned money to see this guy to face um, um, jobbers. I'm assuming these jobbers are just from the area. They got easy paychecks, so I don't know how they pay them. So, and they, they will keep doing it um, every time. I think Ross smacked down, and eventually he faced some uh, superstars on Raw about damn time. But I think his very first superstars was CM Punk in the Hell in a Cell that year. Of course, uh, right back lost because Brad Maddox cost a uh, right back the victory. But I think it was all part of the thing anyway. Um, and I guess CM Punk got injured from that match. Or oh, actually, no. Sometime. Because they supposed to have a TLC match on Raw for the belt, but he got injured, so they postponed it for the following Monday, you know? I think. I'm not really too sure. So, um, Steam Punk is still mad about that. I will be too if someone injured me, you know, one of my co workers or whatever. But I don't work for W at all, so I wish I did. And all that good stuff, you know? So, right back, um, went on his own after the Nexus. He had some okay feuds. He, he was a Paul Heyman guy with Mr. Perfect Son, Kurt Henning. Probably I totally botched it. So, that did not work out very well. Then he was IC champion. I thought they're going to he go to the uh, main guy or something like that. That did not work out. Didn't really push him very well. The IC champion. A lot of people were complaining. Man, I cannot wait to see right back lose the IC belt. And he did. And he never gained it back. And and he did these stupid things backstage being a bully. And I know these mid-carders want to get to the next level. But some of them it happens. And some of them it doesn't happen. So... I guess he had a little incident back in what April, May. He want to talk to McMahon. And say, McMahon, I want more money, or his contract is going to expire very soon. And he denied the offer, or I don't know. But I'd like to see someone record this re live reaction. You know, like do like a Facebook Live kind of thing. But that's that'd be too private. You know, that'd be too personal for Ryback and McMahon. I mean, that'd be kind of neat to see, you know, for any wrestler to talk to McMahon, but that's never going to happen. If they did it, that'd be all uh, played out like months ago, months in advance, you know. But listen to this, okay? I know a lot of you heard about this story, the website, but I don't get my thoughts on the matter. Okay, Ryback has been in contact, I mean, um, contract dispute 
with the W for a few months now and officially announced his departure from the company on his official Instagram account on Friday. Not too sure any of you seen it by now. Probably you have. Ryback was sent home earlier May after he and McMahon could not agree to terms for the new deal. Ryback reported wanted a higher downsize guaranteed than the company was offering and where were there were some other stipulations that he wanted. Hmm. Other stipulations. What would that be? Like become the Lee World Heavy Champion? This is way before the um, brand extension. Get a major push. Be on TV talk shows like John Cena. And of course, McMahon denies it. Um, I wish right back the best luck of, of him in the near future. My guess any wrestling company will sign him and make him a mega superstar. I am being totally honest. This is my guest, okay? I don't know if this is going to happen or not. TNA, okay? TNA could always use former WWE superstars. Uh, Independence. New Japan, uh, um, other companies out there, I, I can't think of it on my head. So any company out there will sign him probably for more money and probably all the demands that Ryback wants. Or on the other hand, probably none of the companies wants to sign his ass and he would just sit at home and play video games or, or um, make videos or whatever he's got to do, you know? But it's very sad that a big powerhouse never, ever became the World Heavy Champion or whatever. The match I did not care for was was at WrestleMania 28 between him and um, uh, Mark Henry. That match was dog shit. I did not like it. It was awful, and people was calling him right back. I'm sorry, Goldberg, Goldberg, when it came out this um, new wrestling gear, he's just a rip-off Goldberg wannabe, and I am not a big fan of rip-offs from other wrestlers, but that's all I gotta say, so, so, I don't know what else to say, you know, so, um, so, um, I don't know, I, I'm assuming he's happy that he's leaving the company, you know? I'm assuming he left them bad terms, so I don't know. So it sucks, so you guys missed the guy, or sorry, you missed the big guy. I guess he's still you can use the name called right back. I thought that was W's name. So let me know if he's allowed to use it out of the W. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and all my social media accounts are down below. Have a good night and I'll talk to you on the flip side. The sound, sorry, the sun is going down. I love these, made these kind of videos. Thanks for watching. Drinking some lemonade. Ah, good stuff.